good win. Can they can they go for sort of the reverse cheese? Does a Huskar work? In is that it, can you sort of focus on crushing the other lanes quick enough that maybe a Brood's game? He's got something yourself that, that has the viral out of control. I'm worried because the, the big thing is the middle remaining. three. The middle three heroes, you just get eaten. Dark Willow, Oracle, and Death Prophet, you're going to just get eaten. And we'll see what secret themselves consider the best hero for a long this the final ban. I see the Void ban, and sure, like, Void works so well with Secret Draft, but it's also... That's what I'm also... I'm kind of leaning maybe toward the Sven. Maybe they just go the way of the Sven. But, but it's, it's not going to be in alliance with the way that Secret... And they've been, I think it's been mid, mid one's been practicing it. Team Secrets turn yeah, they to ban the, I, think I mean, I think, the as you one. said, it's not necessarily amazing, but it's a hero that Alliance is very comfortable with. It protects the, it would it have been a safe them. pick. It gives them the war cry at yeah. least of like, get away from those spiders, because supports are just going to die to spiders. One torrent, one ice path with like a, an army of spiders, and they're just. In secret themselves, it's. We say, you know, look at the four heroes, the four remaining. heroes, it's Alliances very much a draft of secret favor. What else are they going to do to close it up? Oh, that's dirty. They're throwing an arc as well. Wow. Oh, no. That's, what a, a, what a, what a, that's a terrible way for Alliance to, to wake up this morning, is it? Right, we're going to play against secret. Okay. Uh, they're going to pick Brood. Oh, okay. Uh, they're also going to pick arc. <laughs> I mean, this secret, they're, they're here to win. This is, you know, this is not no time Ten for clowning around. This is TI. Secret's turning up. Brood, Arc Warden, Five first game remaining. of the day. Good morning, Alliance. So what? This is offlane Kunkka. We've seen Zai do that in a bit, yeah, right? Zai and then it, so they're do, they have like four heroes, four heroes that kind of put pressure on Brood. Puts pressure pretty quick. And then they've got space. an Arc, arc for the, as for the, the backup, backup plan. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's very likely with this Arc doesn't need to do anything this game, but if, if they need a backup plan, it's there. He could get ran oh. out a bit in the laning phase. That's the one thing I'm looking at. I think the Ogre and the Willow can put it. The thing is that they have a Jakiro there too. Alliance, you gotta pull What's something out for what it is. It Choose okay, so the hero. tiny versus so that's gonna be the mid, right? Wife is still gonna maybe they will swap the land. I think they might swap the land. They might swap the land. Still, it's a hard game, but, but we get it. We get this beautiful. We do. He's got the tiny set. set. I mean, that's what you know. You feel like you've lost the game. What can you do? You can at least <laughs> look good. Look good while you're losing. Okay, this lamps. But let's see how, what they can. Okay. Can they? Can they do it? This is the, if they could turn up and beat this sort of lineup from Secret with this sort of lineup from themselves in the first game of the group stage, they are going to finish. Yeah, they do still have they have the Oracle and the Death Prophet, right? That combo is still very strong because the heal you get from it on. Broodmother, that really. Yeah, DK, you're going to have to have a pretty solid time to make sure that mid one does spiral out of control and feed off of your, your supports that do not like playing versus Broodmother. Willow, I, Willow's not the worst, I guess, because you at least have the realm to protect yourself, but Oracle, Oracle just seems fun versus that. And they have no, they have uh, at least like a one type of AoE stun to like slow down the spiders going on people, but it's just one. They just have Avalanche to slow down, and that's the real like... They have a nuke in the heat. Yeah. This will be tough. In a raw brood, you know, he's sufficiently warmed up mid one. Seven, this is brood. What have we got? Some magical stats from Tiger. Four, Four wins in, in a row. row. Okay. Only eight commence in 25 matches. I think that's pretty toxic. That's come on, Tiger, you gotta step it up, sir. You gotta get eight in 25 matches. So no, no, no. it looks like it's gonna so be no, no, no. Going side lane for they're, they, You have to do that. You cannot put that problem. We get started with our first game here, at least on this stream of the TI9 group stages. Versus. Coming in with the big gun, Broodmother, Arc Warden. Sword is massive on. Dude, Love it. Tiny set is pretty. Look at these, look at these pictures as well. This is nice. See, absolutely. Oh, oh, look at that production oh. value, ladies and gentlemen. There's Nisha. Die. See already that we've got uh, Yapsor queued up his ah. starting his items when we clicked on him right there. We saw he already has the urn. Up, he's gonna go for vessel. Thirty seconds to battle. 
point where he looks off. No. Well, he was happy that, the That's a cute. Boxy, he's happy. He's getting to play some ogre off. Like, yeah. Big. He's he's ready to punch some people in time. Wow. That's why he only gets eight command in 25 matches because he's screaming down the microphone every game. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Puppy's getting a wrap around here. The Top there just. Begins. Two looks like. Anisha, he'll definitely get pressured in that bottom lane if down there. Yeah, how how top? Death Prophet Oracle lane. Not the best side lane. No, not your traditional side. No, no. they had to do this. They, had, they absolutely had. They switched it around. I'm away from the brood. And I'm curious how this is gonna go in the mid lane. Cause like I said, we've seen a lot of these brood mothers in pubs and everything, and it doesn't matter how well. You and you're he's gonna. Wondering how Mick is match the pick is gonna make move map to try to super that to try to space while it's farming or is tower. I've seen people push the tower and you still the map control. Watching how these lanes align, they double down on lanes. Only I mean, way they can. We're sort of left with very limited up. This is their sort of gear of the shot at stuff. A rough start here already. No, no. Under the tower, he's missing. Look, what we're talking about. They double down on lanes. As Puppy does make his way to the top. This is the pressure we're talking about. Go no, here on Tanisha. Here, away from getting that kill, though, they won't quite find it. Tiger. I don't. You'd make great higher muscle. No. I was going to have a south between the two. Do not have a south. A whole bunch of tangos, but. Walks back in, takes another fire blast. Ooh. He is playing on the edge of his life there, Nisha. Ooh, but he, he's fine, he will stay alive now, Puppy. Turning towards Tiger. Yeah, trying to that first bird. Fairy Fire is there. Boxy will be able to fire blast him, but Puppy to at least stop him from getting the spell onto Tiger. Tiger safe enough. Tiger himself, he was prepared for the lane. The sail down. Still a bit of time with Nisha has to really very careful how close he gets to the creeps. Not having that salve in this lane. Secret. I'm oh, feeling the heat. That should have been a first. Bramble. Oh, oh that's usually the plan. Pretty much consistent. You have like some. He does end up missing. But Nisha does stay low because of his. The mid lane. Tiny. Doing great, but where's Broodmother? Broodmother is no longer. So we're, so we're, we're so with with Mickey in the middle lane. What do we expect? Phase drums? Do you still get on the the mid? Start running around the map or look to? Drop? I think the blink. What up? But phase for sure. I think he wants to get phase. You pay for what you've done. I did try and get that kill, but not quite enough to get Nisha. He's still able to survive on that safe flame. Very low HP. We'll see up top. Yep, so. Down. We'll have the and stomp available with that mango, yeah, but it's got insane by his side. But if the, the combo comes out from Yapsor, it ain't enough. He's not going to throw it out. Siphon. Yapsor is still going to try and dive. Now he's going to hunt with the spirit. Will manage to get the connection. He should do so. Sal and cancel that Sal. Yep. Did have to go quite deep for it. That's allowed to send you to turn around, get the roots off. Not enough damage, but. Quite put to burst your absolute down, so was I able to get away with those sort of plays back down bottom? Aggressive on the puppy and Nisha. They are slowing down Nisha's yeah. farm though, have 13. Same to be said for Quite. Both of these side lanes. Never by the opponent often. Stop this time. Almost level 3 of the match. You see that. Go out of control. Nisha. 
Yeah, Bottom Puppy did have to leave Nisha, but he's heading to the jungle, and that will be Nisha. Vulnerable enough for Alliance to claim the kill and get first blood. This time, the combo was there. Boxy and Tiger really sort of amping up the pressure onto this Arc Warden. These side lanes are sort of a similar story for both teams. Really about this mid witch hero game. Are we going to see Mikke pop off on the tiny? Let's go to plan. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Charges. Keep him fine. He's able to duke it out. Quite able to finish off the kill. We're seeing that mid matchup thing come about. Again, he's still at the top of that net worth, but Group Mother is actually out leveling tiny now. Just but so the physical assets for Alliance, they've got advantage with their lanes that they set up. There for now. Stunned up in fat boxy, he's ready to go back in. Puppy's dead for five, they've got mana to go, but Alliance chasing down the Arc Warden. Nisha getting clobbered by boxy as he slams him down. They'll get both Alliance on this bottom lane. Tiger should fall for the efforts, but definitely a worthy play there from Alliance, getting both kills on the bottom lane and continuing to heavily pressure the Arc Warden. And with that death, too, Tiger can. He dies, which he kind of stinks, but also at the same time, he can come the items and bring. Boxy. You see a lot of items actually just dropped at the top. Massive just dropped right there. Radiance middle tower is under Pressure. attack. We said, you know, this is gonna be the lane to watch. We know that what Ogre Magi does. He just runs at you and several times. He's actually gone for the max He's just gonna be punching. The right click over. Ten chances I with the pure five flames, not quite enough. Sai. Will Nisha. live, back down bottom, Nisha in trouble again, he's gonna get taken out, Alliance get the kill, Puppy is trying to find a trade, he's looking towards Tiger, Tiger has still got the stick charges, Tiger will be able to keep himself fine, good body blocks here from Boxy, gets another stun out onto Puppy, Puppy trying to turn the jewel breath, but Tiger kiting Jukes it out it. perfectly, keeping himself just on the edge of the range of the spell, there's the cursed crown, Puppy dead as well, Alliance, beautiful, absolutely crushing this bottom lane, Boxy 3-0-2, as the offline over Radiant's is seven minutes in. That was absolutely. And that box is little small mini body blocks there come to play. And I was mentioning how we've we've seen the right click ogre, but I guess it hasn't been talked about more. They take all the right side talents and you just you go into this right click build. You just actually start doing the fights. It's, it's too much for this lane of secret to deal yep. with. Even early on, just three points in the blood luck to see how fast this hero Teen armor. Zero three already. This is the this is the pressure that Alliance has to apply. Now it's easy, but because you look at the other lanes and even that top lane where Quote was from was also being so slowed down. Mm -hmm. Obviously not as much as he's dying in that top lane because you have what these two strength heroes running at you. It's always going to have the side. So it's very hard really for some to get the damage done. Now the time to get a kill. Now it's time Alliance. They're going to turn and look for a kill themselves on the side. A couple of purifying flames with the damage from the ghost. Alliance will get the kill. And now they can set up to put pressure on tower. There's still flip available for more secret. They're sending the illusions up. Dire structures off the tower. fortified. Radiance middle tower has been denied. Tower does go down. Radiance top tower is under attack. He's going to be here to help out. The same thing with the Semper Alliance. They brought Insane in straight away. They've taken these traps away. Yamsor goes for the stop. He's not going to hit anyone. They're able to easily kite it out. Even bringing in that extra support. Secret still unable to keep Nisha safe as he dies yet again. It's 7 to 1 already. Look at this. And this might be some of the lowest last hits I've ever seen. He's right. 32 last hits at 9 minutes. This is all about brutality and killing each other. to get another purifying flame to us so puppy will survive do you also bought life Mika is actually gonna go for the Radiance echo saber middle tower he's gonna have his high attack. damage trying to go for like a 
I think probably just a niche. Oh, they can. He's found a jump freebie. Hello, puppy. Now he's got the too. They, they've got the curse crown. He's just pretty deep behind the tower. But Poxy, as you say, with that army, he just runs straight underneath it, tanking the tower hits, charging in. Nisha, he's dead again. <laughs> Alliance absolutely smashing the lane. And look at Yapsor too. He's getting chased. Big game. He's got bloodlust. No mercy Radiant coming in here. Uh, hit off once the Yapsor. Will live. He comes in. He tries to go for the tree, but uh, Yapsor. Ooh, he hit by it. They can still dive. Puppy's TP back into it, but he's still vulnerable. They'll find him with the avalanche. They're on top of the dragon. The Kira in trouble. Puppy, he's gonna go down. Have a tree. There it is. Mickey on a killing spree. And Tiger, he's looking. He's hunting. Yapsa will be able to juke it. He'll get himself back out to safety. Ten to one though for Alliance. And ten minutes in, a 3k lead. They may have, uh, I, I still do believe they've been outdrafted, but the play Dyer's and the lanes, has it's looking pretty hot for Alliance to start off with. Can they carry this route to a victory? They're playing it really smart with the pressure, because they, I think they identified, they saw, hey, mid one went Midas. You know, we can we can just look to put pressure on these lanes. They have, they have an off lane Oscar. content. The font is by secret action hard to what Alliance has when they bring. This tiny is extremely high level, 11 with an echo saber. Sure, mid one is level 12, but he's not gonna be running around looking for these that tiny can just go and walk to the lane. And secret don't have don't have the reaction. They're gonna just go for the farm green. Midas as well. They gotta try to like thaw it out for now here as a excellent start for themselves. So. Bottom tiger. He just got Disha Fight. Oh, oh, oh. He will get punished for it, but uh, Absolutely Radiant's worth there from Tiger. As Nisha bought it. Zero, six, and two in these lanes. Not the star Radiant's that you'd hope for as an arc warden. I cursed him. Radiant's so, you know, top tower Nisha have these top ones. We've seen him bleed a little bit, but he's bleeding a lot in this he one. He certainly is. Pressure from Alliance and breaking down the arc warden in these early stages. And Obviously, a hero that can be vulnerable, especially when put in the side lane at those early levels in Alliance, they are, they're perfectly abusing that floor of the hero. Yeah, and especially when you're playing versus Ogre. Like we said, Ogre is probably one of the best pressuring heroes in that way from the... He's going for a Midas and himself on bot. Good, I, good. I think they good. know. They, they've got this edge. They, they want to try and at least be ready to scale, and of course, just value-wise, the Midas sits. Uh, it, it just feels bad if you're not... Get so much value out of it with yep. the multicast. If you, if you end up doing the maths, I'm sure the math says buy my decision. The lights said the group up now, they're going for their exorcism available too, and probably from secret be hard. They need dive to be able to team fight pretty much at all. He has his TP available on the can respond to the bottom, which is a sick he will if, if everybody from Hide in the tree line, he's keeping. Radiant structures are fortified. Set up on the box, box sees a tanky, tanky over there, and the box was already surrounding him up behind the tower. Now it's turned back towards Zai. Zai getting new down. Zai's gonna throw the boat out. And Zai, he's in a lot of trouble. We'll get the rum upon him, but with the purifying flames, Zai's just straight up dead. He'll turn towards Puppy as well. The multi cast is out. Quite with the double kill. Will die as he does sort of hang around in the macro fire a little too long, so. But he gets a double. We'll let him off. Back towards mid. One trying to put the pressure, but Mickey is there to, to be able to bend the back the spider. Touch the tiny. Tiny took zero damage. You have from your. The broodmother had insatiable hunger, and I would. Less than let's. At bottom, we said Zai is the only way that Siku can try to defend that one. But lights, they were set up. They had their four already wrapping around and getting that perfect. Radiance bottom They actually so three to fourteen already here for Lions. Versus that blue mother thing. Okay, Lee. Radiance it bottom tower has fallen. As we said, you know, secret they have. They've gone for the greed. They've Midas brood. They drafted an arc warden as well. Later down the line, things can absolutely still fall into place for secret. But it's what a, it's just been a brilliant start for Alliance for them to turn up and get into the game. As we said, the draft. I'm sure a lot of teams in their position would have been a bit, you know, they're not going to feel good after that draft. Seeing this brood come in into a game where they don't really have answers for the brood, and it's still kind of the case, the tiny certainly turned out to be an excellent last pick. Absolutely. Uh, it, 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 with regards to being able to just be able to be a tiny the time, but Tom Nisha, his hard board in this game, has oh just God. suffered so heavily. The seventh death on the arc. Tiger, again, will be taken down for it, but...
an absolute worthy play. Nisha at least able to pick it up they with his it. Tempest double. They gave it to Nisha. He's probably like, I'm close to minus. That is the only like saving grace for me to have this kill. Yeah, they know. 3200 just net worth. So in much time that he's been off the map in this early stage. We're going to see Koi, but he's going to have a little, little bit of a look to try for the 15 minute rune. Let's we'll see if they've got the numbers here. The ice bar down onto Koi, but Koi has got the back. The same in turn. The rune mid game jumps in with the combo. He looks to burst down. Dying. He's got it. Dying's dead. And there's the false promise. Keep Koi for life. Stops out from the absorb. Buyback as well from Zyna. Run down Mike. Mike's taken out. Koi, but he's going to take a fair bit of damage. We'll be able to heal back up. Can it save us? The fear! The fear! Sending all four members back from Secret as yeah. they'll get everyone else out of there. That was so clutch by Tiger because they would have, if he doesn't get that fear off, it's potential that they lose they lose many more heroes. Not even just quite Probably insane as well for sticking around yep. trying to save him. Because Zai bought back, so the X, that long distance field cast range, Tiger perfectly big. That could have been the beginning of the comeback. We do see anyway, though, mid one. Way at that top there of that net worth. That he's got a lot of farm. He hasn't had to do a lot so far. Just those two kills where he sort of swept around and poked into the side lanes after a brawl sort of came to an end. See if though, yeah, the power of the spider it be overwhelming enough to get secret. Scary place to fight as well too. You're clumped in that area versus an Elf Titan and a Jukiro and a Kunkka as well. You're gonna get hit by a lot of. Secret as Vicka, he seems to find mid one here. Mid one. Gonna be a huge kill. They get the spider. Very nice to pick off there. Seeing mid one is too far up there with that ward they have. Combo with them. They're able to kill so much. 17 kills, 17. 16 minutes in. No Alliance. slowing down. That blink echo. Mickey can sort of walk around the map, take who he wants. He's going to find Poppy in the trees in. He goes with the combo. Poppy's gone. Mickey just able to have free reign now and get kills wherever he wishes. Nisha smartly moving himself quickly away from that bottom half of the map. Absolutely, that is the, that's the danger zone. You have wards down there as well. The way they got to have these three tier ones, like they're just running it, running it down, looking to keep that pressure on the space to catch back up, attack. especially when the spider's dead. Radiant Crude Mother's dead, it applies much pressure. Lions. Bottom tower Go for the defenses, just trying to desperately farm up elsewhere. The game on track. One and well, get at least back on track as the arc warden as he still suffers heavily. Sit down at 5k net worth. Tiger Dyer's nearly about to overtake it. Is the cooldown efficiency pretty good? Yeah. Well, I, well, what? Radiant he died. Tiger trying to see if he can play his way out of here with a fear. Tries to hit Zai, so Zai messes up the combo, but won't be the case. Doesn't get saved from Insanian. Getting south as well. It's a lot of damage, though. I don't think it's going to be enough to keep Tiger alive. In fact, with the Shadow Realm, he's, he is still living. You're right. It was enough with that south given to him through the false promise. Tiger is actually going to be able to get away, and they ended up losing the Elder Titan. Obviously, he's been able to wrap around, get on top of Zai. Mickey's jumping in onto the back line. He's found Puppy. He's on top of the Jakiro, clearing out the trees. Mickey will look to chase him down. Puppy trying to juke Boxy. Does end up finishing off Zai. Puppy will be able to juke his way back to safety, but again, these plays from Alliance. It looked like Tiger was dead. He wasn't. Sal. Sal. Yeah, I guess it really Dyer's is that strong, because what effectively was double up the effectiveness. What's the South normally? It's what, 400? 100, yep. So it's 800 HP straight up that cannot be stopped whilst you're, you're false promise, so <laughs> it, it's enough at this stage of the game. Yeah, those, he got those sneaky little Dyer's plays. I think he also had some stick charges as well that he got off as well, so it was enough. I, I saw it on this. Yeah, he bought the damage as well from the match as well with that base team. So it's sure. a good look. And now with that, they can turn for more pressure out. Alliance is playing, they're playing such fast reactionary. Immediately when Secret started making that play, they ported two heroes. No hesitation. They're really feeling them. Mid one, the Aghanims. Okay. And as we're seeing, he's getting closer and closer to Gin poking at that high ground and poking at that tier. Starting to force Alliance to be a little more split with their plays uh, rather than being able to sort of bring the full five fan to the side lanes for the power pushes. Alliance, they've certainly got so much out of this 90 mark. 
both side lanes, the tier ones and tier twos, really standing in the mid lane for, for secret. Bounty runs the Prago for surprisingly and just bottom ones is they know lines is I guess Radiance Metal Tower is under attack. Grab that one, but that. Stomp. And yet we see that vessel is Getting closer, for Yapsor is still pretty far away, he's having a pretty rough game here. Only 0, 2, and 3, but not having that. Dyer's top tower is under it. attack. Yeah, get some. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Time. Lion's been out. Okay, Axe, Axe is pretty much, pretty much done, and you, know, you were showing me yesterday, of course, that very nice interaction between the Axe and the Echo say every tree slows. Yep. Dead. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. The only problem is yep. that you run out of trees. Dyer's top tower sure, you gotta make sure the trees attack. are there to go. Yep. Still waiting for that. Toss back. set up there. Dyer's top tower has They've got all five heroes here. You see you've been one already. Like, all right, Radiant's just middle just tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Still doesn't have the spider attack damage. So that's the big one that's, that we say. That's the one where you gotta really start looking at your base. Your base and you yeah. make sure you oh. protect your support. So much. There's the. He's got it ready. He's near level 18, but we're gonna see him transform once more. Okay. To the, the next level of the prestige. My, my favorite thing that I really like about the axe is. And sure, it does like a lot of damage on that, but the cooldown is pretty. 12 seconds. 12 seconds, only 150 mana as well, so it actually kind of matches your combos. But you combos. need the tree. You need the... I love it because it gives you that extra um, extra way to combo kill people. Stun toss, and then you have I the extra... I saw my stab. Go for the jump in. He's able to walk out of that immediate combo that was dropped down by Secret. The bow's gone, they get Tiger. Fine, get out. Like sort of go for the jump in and then realize actually we we gotta get out. Illusion. There's been time. Don't so. walk. Don't walk into high ground first. Still have high amount of team fight coming in. Sure, the Arc Warden Nisha has been shut down a lot, but he's starting to get he's, back into he's the game. He's ramping back up. He's catching he's back up. And that's gonna happen, as you say. If you're Alliance, you have this lead. You take a couple of bad team fights, and then suddenly the game really is. Sick sort of the danger territory we would have expected it to be with these like the brood alliance there they cannot let this one slip away and you know to give credit to alliance for their performances of lately they've been at these lands when they've been at the summit when they get a lead they rarely throw it away anymore they're very good at giving an advantage and not making you know the questionable play nice he's out he's been found he needs to pick off for alliance so now Easily killing as well. 40 for Mickey. Have to watch out for. I guess I say they, they, they don't make mistakes. This is a refined team. It's very good at closing up for one again. Again, again. The jump. Now he's on to back. He's on top of Nisha. Nisha's dead again. Dead. Nisha is dead. That's a way too far. He's having a rough game. That pressure. And then oh, Whoopi. Almost coming down to the tree. As they're just pushing in, they're onto the high ground. Alliance! Radiance they know exactly what they need to do this game. Their timing to end it. That's a good one. He goes in, he gives a poke. He has a BKB on now too, but are available as well. Radiance and that's committed here to try to They've already lost their main event. That's what they want to do. He's going to pop the BKB. He's trying to get on top of Koi for the book of the stomp pad, but Koi was on the back. He's standing for the stomp by the end. Smart boats down. They all swept. Just catch the four of them. It's a big one. Lows is the absolute to run in. Slap down insane. He has Ground, another five blast down onto Yapsor. 
turns towards Tiger. Get him out. Oh, get the two of them. Lions, can they get the rest of them out? Safely needs. He's gonna have the Tempest double in place to spot out Mickey. Mickey goes straight for the TP out. Not able to cancel in time. Nobody's in range. They have got the cooldown. So Lance will get the rest out. But they do lose both their supports, but they they've they done the, the structural damage. Tier three, the half the racks. Yeah, you'll lose a couple of supports for that. Absolutely. The, the fact that they didn't lose any of the, the cars is all TP yeah. out in the face of secret was massive for them. Very, very impressive advantage. And Alliance, as I said, you know, if they're able to pull this off this game one, I think you've really got to start to consider how far Alliance can go. I know it, it is only one game. You don't want to always make so quick reactions, but a lot of people would have already seen the potential lineup being able to do this. They've impressed, they've improved, and now here they are. First game of the group stage here at TI9 against Team Secret. Against Team Secret Mid One Brood. Against Radiant Team Secret Nisha Arkwarden. And in this first 25 minutes at least, they are absolutely crushing it. Yeah, they're putting just so much pressure. Mid One's, mid -one's about to be level 20. The big one we've seen on the Brood Mother. Let's get all that damage. But Alliance, they're not slowing it down. This is their timing. They're, they're looking to end the game before <laughs> anything's happened. They don't want to take this. Starting to feel probably a little bit pressured, even though they have the 7k back. Want to end it. You don't want this game to go. TPs do come into play. Need the power of the spider. We didn't lose anybody on the retreat here still though. Insania almost gets caught there by the stomp. Still wants to continue. Alliance do reach successfully without losing a hero from that. The rat. Yeah. Their exorcism weren't able to actually do much on this tower. They got 800 damage. Whoa, on the tier. what is this? Whoa. What? What is this? It's not been Nisha's game. This is sort of like the dream way for Alliance to start TIs. This is quite the opposite for Nisha. Yeah. 292. And look at this. Immediately, they're already starting to, to start to push that top. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone? Go to the racks. And they don't have TPs available. And he gets it. Okay. So this is, this is how potentially Alliance could lose the game. Bottom lane, range racks down. He gets the toss back here. Secret a couple of buybacks, but they get four kills on Alliance. Radiance Middle Tower. These are the sort of failed pushes that Alliance can afford to, to really let happen a couple of times. Otherwise, yeah. Secret will get back in the game very confidently, and Bip One Brood will have ample opportunity to get the split push on and start threatening another lane of racks. That th the play that they were trying to do there on Alliance, it looked like they were like, all right, we need to make sure that Mickey is back before the Brood Mother even hits the building. So you saw he was set up, and then he could buy a boot to travel. And but they didn't get the false promise. Koikfa dropped. Zania wasn't able to get it. I think he got maybe stunned for like a second there, it looked like, while he was trying. They get the burst, and from there, it's just a... That is... Can't have happened here. Another one of those, and... Flustered after that last failed push. He's got level 18, he's got the level 3 exorcism. Bob is going to be aiming for that top one, bottom still has. 
that's the one nice thing. You know, that's, that's great for like shrine bottom lane. Oh, I'm still going. What were the pictures in the middle? Yeah. I, just, I think it was just like magical, and then one was physical. One was the weapon, and then the other one looked like magical. Ah, yeah, that's right. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, was, I don't know, it was like some, some like tooth, and then like some Dyer's magical, weird, top. mystical orb. Oh, that is this new item. This is a new item. Radiant structures. Push with this level three exorcism. You see, we did one. Try to push out that mid lane as far as possible, but make it there. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. We had to, just bought a shadow. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Rush. And I just leave it now. I'm trying to do this whole thing. Not to play hard. with the pretty much an amazing start there for Alliance in that fight. They got the toss back and killed the before he got anything off and still Spider was able to he got trapped around under 
These swings started to happen with these buybacks. And this is the thing they can The Snakes Alliance may have this confidently. Maybe two sets of racks up. But secret, they Dyer are scanning. They mark on this thing. Still, of course, the late game arc uh, a long way from happening. Yeah. As Nisha's game has just been slowed Radiance down incredibly. Tower is under attack. This spider, mid one. Definitely still a big threat. Spiders are like unkillable now, too. That's how it is. That's how it is. He's got this whole area. Let's go. Let's go back on Roshans. Tier 4s are dying in Secret of Base, though. They lost one quite a bit ago in the second. He's got the Lord of Fury. Just focus on the Lord of Fury. They will get him. The element! The fear! He's in! He almost did it! What a beautiful snatch there! Oh, using the fear, perfectly timed as Roshan fell, able to go in, hold side back with the Yules, Tiger. He's so on fire with his terrorize in this game. I mean, that, tips. You have that, to. that's huge. As well. Secret were starting to really come back into it. That was a fell fight for Alliance. If, if Alliance had to fight into Secret with an Aegis, it would have been. Big, big danger territory for Alliance, but it's not going to happen. Tiger able to make sure that Secret do not get that chance. Ah, yeah, that's massive. That sets, up, sets him up to at least be able to play an aggressive place. You'd rather maybe be scared because of Aegis, maybe Anisha. Thank you, love you, please. Either one of these, like, they, they, they wouldn't be able to... Tiger. It is. Big place. Oh, you know, you're know, you sort of saying to me you know, the other day, you know, Dark Willow, will we see it? Yes. Definitely on these teams that have a good Dark Willow player and your Tiger, Radiant, he is, you know, a lot, everyone knows attack. that he's one of the best Willows yep. in. There's, 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 there's probably like, what, a short list of Willows, I mean, who would you name? Tiger, Crit, 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 you say Crit and Tiger are sort of the, the two names that really come Radiant, to mind. In terms, of, in terms of teams, at least they've been playing it a lot recently. Yep. And that's very well with him. Gotta watch out. A couple of things. So, he make it, finish it, up the data lead, so that's the... Another big timing that comes out after the Agonims with Volley. And now Yaps. BKB plus Vessel. Now he can stick on Hero with the Elder Titan. The set of racks. So all the right talent. I'm saying Ogres only take the right talent. Watching from the sidelines, gonna throw it up and to get grabbed. Back. So, go for deep push, bit one was putting pressure on in the mid lane. He was putting pressure on tier four. He wasn't even going for racks there. Presence uh, enough to stop mid one from pushing. Does mean that Alliance won't have the firepower to top shrine is under and attack. Goes. Bit by bit, they do come. Dyer's top shrine has fallen. Mid. The rack's exposed. <laughs> Secret's trying to get around. You look, at, you look at the KDA, you look at the network, mid one, and it, for all intents and purposes, he is in his own game. Yeah. He is, he's playing a win at the moment. He's probably, he's, he's taking himself off the comms, he's playing to win. Yeah, he's, he's in sort of pub Dota mode at the moment. Radiant he has to carry this victory, look for the round opportunities to win this one. They're looking for him, they're trying to set up with him with everybody. He now, no BKB, that could be the timing of the lines to poke up. They have the Shiva Duong fight foot in the mountain tank here. We have to get one now. Dyer's courier has been killed. I can't believe the spiders. That spiders they got they, 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 Yeah, they, they just have the spiders in the jungle and it was heading towards the secret shop. So one is gonna get that courier stuff. Out of spirit vessel, and it's instantly good. Yeah, it's fun. Make it. Hard to sort of follow. Follow the curve, though, when it's like a little over at Lungus. That's a damage there. He does have his BK build. Getting ready. 
40 minute mark, you get a lot of fun things. Cool power runes. to victory but they're also that close to, to letting it slip away a couple of bad decisions and hey, this spider is running straight down the mid lane and closing the game up yeah it's a little bit scary enough for lines right because it exactly, yeah. they used three different ones and now they're starting to come back up but they're short on gold especially from okay he's about 400 away but he's getting close He let the rest of his team go to work. He was like, right, boys, I'm finding that. Dude, I'm finding that Oracle. Misha I'm didn't get hit once Radiant in that entire fight in the river. He literally just was sitting there casting everything. Look, 12 spark rays, 5 hit. magnetic fields. They have got their buybacks. Oh, my and God. And they are going to need to use the Alliance. Is As the mid lane's getting poked at Foxy, he's going to try and commit pops the BKB. They're just taking down the tower, dude. They have to buy back, got to buy back on everyone. This is Secret Guard for the GG push it straight away. They'll try to watch out through Yamsuk. They stun up the Avalanche as well. Yamsuk's dead. Yamsuk's trying to bail here now. They every single fight back. And they've got to try and catch more here. See if Zai. they can find Zai Zai. Able to juke it out into the trees. Time for the TP, but Foxy's got the fish. They'll stun him up the mid one. He's going to come over and start a help lane. Foxy can't catch the BKP, but indeed the curse crowd is going to hit the two of the mid one. He walked into it, but he has the BKP. Goes into the tree, BKB DP out, will keep himself. Zai, of course, still alive. Finally, Mickey will jump in to clean him up. Zai now the one to be dead without buyback once again. 85 seconds, no Zai. It's just so chaotic. Alliance, they've got to push back. They're going to try their best. They have got the ghost exorcisms available. Three heroes without buyback on Alliance. They have to force this issue, though. They know Zai does not have buyback. He bought back for the last fight. They have to try to do something. Zai's been providing quite a lot I mean, for his team. Mid one's got a lot of money. I get he's going to try and get out and spend it. It's going to be hard for him to find the chance to. He's got 8,000 gold. I mean, at, at the least, right, you're, you're in the base. You, you buy the recipe for the axe. You, you swallow it up as the brew. You need to give yourself an upper eye, right, Joe? He's just the buyback. That's right. But he's got enough. He's got to upgrade. Surely, you, you upgrade, upgrade the axe. Buy yourself a spy. Between these teams is Alliance. Hard committing here to try and finish up this final set of ranks in the middle lane. Now get it. Look at the main lane. Now turn towards the ring. The ghost is still out. Pops is going to leave for Curse grabs out. Pops pops the PKP. Let's get the final rest. Now get the Mega Creep. Now they're going to make sure that they don't have any casualties. Jump in. Tiger. He's on Mid 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 They may have got the oh Megas, but that's two heroes dead for nice. over 80 seconds. You see the Desolator bought by Nisha? They're ready. And They're ready to push. Buy an Ezra put mid one. Get something else for the push. He's got to buy something. He got, I mean, maybe he, he, he's like, I don't need the boys with the two and six. I knew we bought this one all along. He's playing it as cool as ever, mid one. X coming out. And he doesn't look X. We'll, we'll get that fixed. He's, oh, he's strapped the sword. The sword's on his back now. I mean, that looked kind of cool. That it should actually be a that. feature. Oh. 
Is it meant to look like that? I, if, if it didn't, it should. I mean, look at that. Got, you got squares on his back. Radiant yeah. Yeah. Is I like under that. Well, yeah. Intended. Radiant are scanning. That that's so they're looking to end it too. Th I mean, they know. It's not available. Dude, uh, it's got it, right? They yeah. Gotta put a lot of pressure on. Is under attack. Where's the creeps at? Mick is looking to just keep cutting them here. He walks behind that mid creep wave and he does that to get it, but the damage is coming through. It's too much. Got it. They've got it. Secret has I'm got it. It's I'm over. Holy. <laughs> so that's what we're saying. Our brother. Easy, easy game. Secret has got it. Alliance, oh what God. a fight they put up. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. We said it. Those late game mistakes could cost them the game. But you have to give hats off. Like, I mean, both both teams there wow. playing it. What, what